This video is sponsored by Noble Gold. The release of the next Disney Plus Star Wars series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, is right around the corner. Seeing as it features the return of both Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen to what many would argue are their signature roles, you would think the hype would be through the roof, but somehow it's not. On the contrary, quite a few of the built-in audience who under normal circumstances should be the ones most excited for this are instead the most anxious. There are several reasons for this, and chief among them are the alleged leaks and rumors of the story narrative that may unfold on screen over the course of the series. In this video, we'll begin by going through what these rumors are before arguing why they might be accurate, and conversely, why they might not be. Because, as we shall see, not all rumors pan out. Before any of that, though, let's take a moment to discuss a very real matter. You might have noticed that the economy isn't doing too hot right now, and there are no signs suggesting it'll get any better in the foreseeable future. Over the years, some of you may have tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds, so you know that they can be volatile and unpredictable. And that is certainly the case now, with inflation running at its highest rate for 40 years. Being able to sleep at night knowing your investment isn't about to crash is worth its weight in gold. And speaking of gold, if you've been jumping from one investment idea to the next, a gold IRA with Noble Gold is perfect for you. With gold, you shield your gains from taxes, you keep the real value of your wealth, you own a tangible global asset, and you can help protect your wealth against both inflation and a possible economic crash. Also, this month, for every IRA above 20 k you'll get an incredible 3-ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or click the link in the description so they know we sent you. With that, let's dive into the rumors surrounding Obi-Wan. Before we dive into the alleged leaks and rumors of what may happen in Obi-Wan, be advised that none of this is confirmed. They are all alleged leaks and rumors, and should be treated as such. They may not pan out, or they may not pan out exactly as described. However, they could also be close enough to be considered spoilers, so here is your mandatory spoiler warning. With that out of the way, let's dive in. The official plot synopsis reads, Ten years after the events of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, in which the Jedi were destroyed by Order 66 and Anakin Skywalker became the Sith Lord Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi is watching over Luke Skywalker on Tatooine when he finds himself embarking on a rollicking adventure. It's well known that this rollicking adventure somehow includes Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader, and that dialogue from the original movies is what apparently justified the two facing off again in a hitherto unknown manner. On February 17th, Star Wars Newsnet reported that Obi-Wan will have an important mission in the series that involve none other than Her Highness Princess Leia. As we know, the Kenobi series takes place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, so this will be a 10-year-old Leia in the series. Additionally, we've learned that the princess managed to get herself into trouble, even at this young age. From what we've heard, it appears that the princess is being held prisoner in a cantina-like establishment, where we will see a healthy mixture of new and familiar creatures. Of course, Obi-Wan's task will be to rescue the princess. With a young Leia's significant involvement in the series, we know that her adopted parents will also play a role. As we all know, Bail Organa adopted Leia after her birth, so actor Jimmy Smits, who played the senator in the prequels and returned for 2016's Rogue One, will also make an important appearance. On February 23rd, MakingStarWars.net not only reported that these rumors were accurate, but added more detail to them. Obi-Wan Kenobi leaves Tatooine on a secret mission to save Princess Leia after Bail Organa shows up in Obi-Wan's cave saying she's been abducted and the Organas need his help. Obi-Wan takes public transport off Tatooine, like we see in the Book of Boba Fett, to a world described as Reno if it were a Star Wars planet. The ones behind the abduction are the Jedi hunting Inquisitors. The Inquisitors have studied the Jedi's past they are hunting and have an understanding of who was close to certain living Jedi before Order 66. As the hunt for Obi-Wan Kenobi by the Grand Inquisitor commences, the fifth brother and the vile third sister, and these are apparently Inquisitor titles, begin to pull on threads that will spring Kenobi from out of the shadows so they can slay him. The idea is to have Senator Organa's daughter captured and see who comes to save her. If their intel is correct, they just might catch a big fish like Kenobi. 
In another scoop from the same day, MakingStarWars.net revealed more details about this third sister. Moses Ingram is playing Reva, the third sister in Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi for Disney+. This has later been confirmed to be accurate, so kudos to MakingStarWars.net for scooping that. The character has been described as brutal and intelligent. Reva cuts the hands off of those she feels are not complying with her investigations while on Tatooine. The Grand Inquisitor is shocked by her actions, and he realizes she is rather formidable. She is named after Revan from Knights of the Old Republic. The concept is Reva is the feminine version of Revan. Based on this report, it's unclear if Moses Ingram, for all practical purposes, is playing gender-bent Revan, or if the door is still open for an actual Revan appearance in the future. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments. We'll get back to Reva in a moment, but first, there are a couple of spoilers pertaining to a couple of droids. On March 22nd, Star Wars News Net wrote, We've heard from a credible source that the bounty hunter Forlom will make an appearance in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. We don't know many specifics about his involvement, but we were assured he will have a bigger role than the mere seconds he spent on screen in The Empire Strikes Back. The Lom series is a type of protocol droid, designed with insectile features and had a flaw in their software. Forlom managed to override his programming and became a bounty hunter. We first saw him in The Empire Strikes Back, where he was one of the six bounty hunters hired to find the Millennium Falcon. In a follow-up scoop from April 27th, they also claim that 10-year-old Leia will have a flying protector droid that rivals Baby Yoda in cuteness. As protector droid, this cutesy flying droid probably isn't very efficient, though, as Leia will depend on Obi-Wan to save her. With that, let's get back to the Reva and the potential spoiler that has everyone up in arms. In general, MakingStarWars.net has been killing it, to the point where they now have breakdowns of the plots for each episode, which is a certain level of detail we won't get into here, but we will get into the end spoilers, which were further disseminated from MakingStarWars.net by way of both Bounding Into Comics, our good friend Drunk C3PO, and many, many more. Bounding into comics captured the frustration and loss of confidence many a fan have in Disney with the title, Ending to Obi-Wan Kenobi Series Reportedly Leaks Online. It's as bad as you expect from Disney Star Wars. Writing, Making Star Wars revealed that in the final episode of the series, Inquisitor Reva discovers that Obi-Wan Kenobi is protecting Luke Skywalker on Tatooine. The site reports, by the final chapter, Reva has put the contextual clues together, and she figures out that Obi-Wan Kenobi has been protecting something, someone, the son of Skywalker. In a follow-up article, the site claims that after Obi-Wan Kenobi returns to Tatooine after a duel with Darth Vader off-planet, he discovers Reva at Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's moisture farm. However, he doesn't engage her in combat. Instead, Reva flashes back to her own childhood and comes to the realization she cannot kill Luke Skywalker. She then just leaves the farm, with Kenobi coming to the conclusion that she has not been completely corrupted by the dark side of the Force. Another scoop from Making Star Wars details that after leaving Tatooine, Reva returns to an underwater fortress on a planet called Nur, where she reports to Darth Vader that she killed Obi-Wan Kenobi. Vader doesn't believe her and kills her. Back on Tatooine, Luke continues with his life, Leia does the same on Alderaan. As for Obi-Wan Kenobi, he finally makes contact with Qui-Gon Jinn, presumably after failing to do so for the past decade. What has fans worried is the perception that Disney might have pulled yet another bait-and-switch, making Obi-Wan play second fiddle to Reva, which, to be fair, would be in line with what Disney has shown a penchant for doing for both Star Wars and Marvel for the past few years. The most recent example is Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, in which Doctor Strange himself was little more than a side character with a lot of screen time, as he was merely reacting to Wanda driving the story and America Chavez taking him across the multiverse. If these alleged story leaks are true, do you think Obi-Wan is about to be sidelined? Or could the context of the full episodes to show Reva to be a well-developed villain, but a villain nonetheless? Let us know what you think, and how excited you are for the series in the comments. And before you go, call 877-646-5347 now to secure your pension, or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. See our link in the description.